December is on the horizon and you know what that means. It's time for the International Christmas Charity Bazaar. To talk more about it, we are joined today by uh, Anusha Setwala, who is the media spokesperson for ICCB. Thank you, Anusha, for joining us. Thank you for having me, Rehab. Okay, great. So I think we'll get right to it. What is the ICCB? How did it come to be? So um, it is a group of ladies got together and um, expected ladies and decided that they needed to give back to Sri Lanka. So uh, they um, rallied together, got different countries, embassies um, come, to come on board and uh, started a bazaar in, during Christmas. And they would bring imported goods and sell. And obviously, you know, especially in the 1980s and things like that, you know, imported mm. goods were difficult to come by, much like today. <laughs> uh, so, um, you know, people would flock and, uh, you know, they'd have, you know, sell quite a bit of Christmas goods. And uh, they would use that money to help local charities. They're all local based charities. So it's a way of the expatriates giving back to the beautiful island they're living in. Okay, great. How did you come to be involved in this? Well, um, a group of friends uh, were involved in it and they asked me to come on board and I thought it was a really good cause, so I joined. Um, so the ICCB is happening this time after quite a bit of a break. So how has that been? Yes, well quite a bit of a break is we had our last physical bazaar in 2019. Okay. So 2020 was not possible but we did manage to have an online um, bazaar, like on, we went online and okay. actually that was quite successful. We didn't have uh, the variety of items we normally have but we managed to, you know, uh, get a few things like advent calendars and things that still, you know, people needed little, little items and uh, we managed to, you know, have the bazaar online and we were able to still collect some money and you know help some of the charities we support right try to support right throughout the year. Um, speaking of the charities what are the charities that you support how did you select them? What was it like? So there are a few charities that we have been supporting over the years and we have this policy that uh, we want to support them uh, continuously so that they can uh, you know uh, manage themselves right throughout without like you know just donating money once and then stopping so we donate to them uh, for different different reasons um, of, for their needs so like for example one year one of the charities needed to uh, pay their teachers Okay. So we were able to give that money to be able to um, support the teachers, uh, things like that. Okay. Um, this year, what can the people expect from the ICCB? Okay, so uh, fingers crossed, uh, we can accept, expect quite a bit of things. Okay. So um, we've been quite lucky and uh, 17 countries have come on this year. Oh, that's great. Yes. Okay. So um, we have advent calendars. Um, Chocolate, different chocolates, uh, fondue will be oh, wow. available, yes. Uh, we also have uh, actually Japanese food will be available, food from the different countries will be available and also um, dates, handmade, uh, handmade items like handicrafts, things like that will be available. Oh, that's great. Um, so something everyone looks forward to is the raffle drop. The gifts have been fabulous over the years. What surprises can they expect this year? Yes, this year is also another fabulous year. We have <laughs> uh, Four Seasons, which has oh, come wow. on board with us, Small Divs. We have Echo, um, Ella. We have the Golf Face Hotel, the Owl and the Pussycat. We have Jungle Beach, Uga, the oh, Uga Hotels fab, Jungle yeah. Beach, which has also given us uh, stays at their hotels. Uh, then we have this fabulous Park Street Gourmet hamper, which is looks amazing. And also Lalitha Jewelers has given us a voucher. So has Chatham Luxury Watches. Uh, so for 1,000 rupees, you are definitely Worthy. going to be a winner. <laughs> That's great. I mean, I'm sure people are already excited about this. Um, I'm sure there's loads of challenges you would have faced this time around as well in setting this whole thing up. How is it? Yes, so even this year, um, it's been tough. So the last three years has been quite hard because we've had to adapt. So this year, actually, uh, we, we uh, were not sure whether the countries were able to, you know, 
participate. Okay. Uh, but you, you know, this year, I think everyone needs help more than any other year. And if we uh, do not have this, you know, our ability to help the charities really, uh, it's not, it becomes difficult. So, so uh, lucky for us, the countries have rallied together. The charities have rallied together as well to sell their things and to make as much as we can to try and, you know, to do as much as we can for everyone. Of course. Um, to have an event of this scale is no easy feat. So tell me a little bit about the people making this happen, the sponsors. So we have uh, Golface as our venue sponsor, uh, Animate as our print sponsor, and uh, Vijaya, who's always been amazing with us, um, as our media sponsors. So uh, the tickets are available at Chatham Luxury Watches, at PR, at uh, Prana Lounge and at Milk. Okay, great. Um, so you, you can buy both your raffle tickets and your uh, entrance tickets from the same venues. Okay, that is great. Um, so Anusha, lovely having you with us and having a chat about this fantastic event. Uh, I'm sure everyone's very, very excited and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you for having me and thank you for giving me this amazing opportunity yes. uh, because it's really a worthy cause for all the people that need help. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So the ICCB is happening on the 4th of December at the Gorface Hotel from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Do not miss out. Things run out really fast. So make sure you're there on time and we will see you there.